All right, I have one last thing that I want to show you in PSPP, which this works the exact same way in SPSS. Let's say that I wanted to add a major to this hypothetical data set, right? Let's say the score wasn't a class exam. Let's say it was, maybe I gave everybody a stress inventory about how stressed our students were. And maybe I want to analyze this based on major. So obviously, as you've seen so far, I can only work with numbers in this software, okay? So if I come over here to data, I've already randomly filled in numbers one to five. We'll get back to this. But if I come over here to variables and I wanted to work with actual words, it won't let me type in English, right? It'll just blank out. It won't let me type in math. It'll blank out. I can't type in words. This software is numbers only. So I have to convert my words to numbers. Now remember, we're working with nominal data. So I've gone through every one of our 83 hypothetical cases in this and given it a number one to five. What I would do with that is I come over here on this line where I've named this variable major. And just like I did when I created these groups for group score, I'm going to tell the system what I want these numbers to be labeled. So in this hypothetical scenario that I've created, and you would come up, I did it backwards so that it was all prepped to show you this example, but you would come up with your value and your value labels before you entered your data, right? Because when you go to enter, you would want to know which number to put in when you get to a math major versus an English major. So you would do this step first. I was just trying to, to save time so you didn't have to watch me type in 83 numbers. So let's say that value number one is a math major. Value number two is an English major. Value number three is an education major. Value number four is a is one of the behavioral sciences majors. And value number five, um, let's throw in a business major. Okay. So in our hypothetical example here, we're comparing math. So we have STEM representation, English, education, behavioral sciences, and business. We're going to click OK. So this now pops up here. Now you'll notice over here in data, it's still just going to show the number. It's not going to change it to words over here. But now what we can do, if we come over here to analyze our descriptives and go to frequencies, we're not really going to care about the mean, the standard deviation, and the minimum and the maximum. Because remember, we're working with, with nominal data, right? How are we going to get a mean of education majors? So we're going to come over here to charts. We're going to tell we want a histogram, a bar chart, and a pie chart. Because I prefer using part pie charts if I'm working with a small number of nominal data, like one to five. Continue. And OK. So now what we have on our output is we can see it gives us a frequency table. So in our data set here, we have 13 math majors, 19 English majors, 18 education majors, 16 BSci, and 17 business. It gives us our percentage of those majors of the whole data set, just like when we're working with numbers. Now, on our histogram, I don't, I, yeah. OK. It did halfway points, and I'm trying to remember what setting in here turns that off. Because um, obviously, you know, there's not, there wasn't a 3.5. So I'm trying to remember how to turn that off. I will play with this and get back to you. But the more important thing here is the, the pie chart and the bar chart. So you could see that if, like, if you were giving a presentation, and there is a setting on here that I'll show you where we can put labels on here for percentages. This would be a very clear visual way to show, hey, there was a pretty even distribution of all the majors that we collected. You can see in the bar chart a little more detail that, okay, we have slightly fewer math majors than everything else. So that's that. And just so you know real quick, because I'm about out of time here, but if you come over here to graphs, you can also create bar charts using this setting and it'll give you a little bit more control over all of your um, over all of, of your appearance with it. So that is how to work with nominal data in PSPP or SPSS.